video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a fern farm. So without further ado, let's get into the video. This is the fern farm. It is a really tiny design. It is inspired by Razor's design, but I have modified it to my preferences. This farm is made possible thanks to the new mud block here, which if I F3 quickly, you'll see is actually uh, 0.125 of a block, smaller than a normal block. Thanks to the fact that you can place a fern on this new mud block you can simply use a hopper which if i turn on the machine does pick up items i just added a feature so where you, when you toggle nothing falls in as you can see the shears are still there uh, how to get the fern so you f can get the fern by or uh, shearing it when you are in a spruce biome or there is, I think, an 18% chance of you finding ferns in chests in spruce villages. For the farm, you need here and the aforementioned ferns. This farm is extremely fast. It produces tons and tons and tons of fern per hour so you won't be asking for more than a couple of minutes but i do recommend stocking up on some bone meal because this bad boy is thirsty put the fern into your off hand shears into your primary hand here like so and you need to turn on the fern by flicking this lever if we stand here we point our cursor here in the obsidian we break place break place break place uh, when you train this for a bit you'll get it faster like this these are the items that you need really cheap this obsidian block here doesn't need to be obsidian you can switch it up with something else but it needs to be quite a durable block so you don't accidentally break it while you're farming all right so i like to start things off by placing the chest so i'll place it here like so you need to place a hopper facing into the chest like so you can see that by this little stem coming out of it you need a the mud block here place a temporary block here here and here break these to place a dispenser and place redstone dust on top of it now here behind the farm on the side of the mud block here you place your sticky piston now you need to place your observer oh sorry wrong way pointing at this like so so the eyes and the face of the observer is on the top here and now you can just casually place this as you can see it is already beeping to avoid that you press place a lever here click it and it turns off the farm here we place our obsidian block or the block the other durable block that you chose and the last thing for this tutorial will be this wall block of course now you come here you put in some bone meal for the farm of course i do recommend enchanting your shears it does help with the durability and these shears really wear off quite quickly so yeah i would really really recommend enchanting your how your shears with at least unbreaking and mending works great in the farm the durability is way higher really a nice add-on to the already great farm design 
Anyways guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to make and I hope this firm friend will help you decorate your sp medieval spruce base with some greenery. Anyways guys, next uh, next week I'm going uh, to take a break for a week. So I'll pre-upload a video or two for you guys so you can still enjoy this beautiful content. Stay tuned for some great projects that I have incoming. Uh, three of them are actually in the process of creation while I am speaking right now. And yeah, really looking forward to that. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one bye bye